Wisconsin Dells is one of the top tourist destinations in the Midwest. This town is at the foot of Lake Delton, and it's arguably the water park capital of the world. You have America's largest water park in Noah's Ark, plus several indoor water parks attached to resorts. Beyond that, you also have additional family entertainment centers and a full-fledged amusement park with a deep wood coaster lineup in Mount Olympus. So in this video, I will rank the top 20 attractions in town. I have visited most of the amusement and water parks in town, but I have not visited the Chula Vista Resort. This is another hybrid indoor and outdoor water park attached to a hotel, and they feature the bizarre Flying Mayan water coaster. I haven't heard the best things about that attraction, but it's certainly unique. Number 20, Minor Mike at Knuckleheads. This Wisdom Rides Kitty Coaster is genuinely fun. It has an interesting placement spanning two levels of the building, and it was plus with some light western theming. There's no airtime, but the transition into the super tight helix at the end delivers some sneaky strong laterals, and like most kitty coasters, you get a few laps. Number 19, Smoke That Thunders at the Kalahari Resort. This giant half pipe slide has a decent plunge and some weightlessness on the wall. The drop and wall stall aren't as good as the Pro Slide Tornadoes or Water Fun half pipes, but it's still a blast. Number 18, Manticore at Mount Olympus. This San Perlis Star Flyer is only 14 stories tall, but it's tall enough to offer the best panoramic views of the park. Number 17, Master Blaster at Kalahari Resort. This is one of the weakest water coasters out there, but a weak water coaster is still better than most water slides. I love how this one travels along the rafters of the park. This one really crawled along the course, and it felt like it'd stall out in all the turns, but there were two little dips that gave faint pops of airtime. Number 16, Pegasus at Mount Olympus. This custom coaster's international creation looks like a straightforward family wood coaster, but this ride has a weird layout. It's more reminiscent of a wild mouse coaster. Anytime this coaster changes direction, it is a super sharp turn that delivers an abrupt burst of laterals. Most notably, you have that kink before returning to the station. Some may find this ride too shaky, but I genuinely enjoy those laterals and its quirkiness. Number 15, Apollo Swing at Mount Olympus. This giant SNS Scream and Swing is an upcharge attraction. It has the usually short cycle, but I didn't think the floater airtime was as good as other installations. The ride still has a great sense of speed and awesome visuals though as you swing over the midway. Number 14, G-Force 1 at Tom Foolery's Adventure Park. This SBF Visa Frisbee is tiny, but do not be deceived. This little ride inverts you countless times and you get great hang time on each revolution. And it's extra disorienting with all the lights from this indoor FEC. Number 13, Screaming Hyena at Kalahari Resort. This speed slide is a single steep plunge, and it is satisfying. You feel yourself momentarily lift off the slide as you zip towards the runoff. Number 12, Point of No Return at Noah's Ark. This is another body slide very similar to Hyena, except this one is a little taller and the exposed outdoor environment allows you to better appreciate the visual of rapidly falling. Number 11, the XD Dark Ride at Tom Foolery's Adventure Park and Knuckleheads. These Triotech interactive shooting dark rides are fun and chaotic. There are plenty of 3D targets to shoot at, and the motion platform adds some intensity you don't get on other shooters. Number 10, Poseidon's Rage at Mount Olympus. Usually I skip wave pools, but I made an exception for this one. Every two minutes, this one unleashes a nine foot tall wave that violently knocks everyone backwards. I honestly don't know how this wave pool is legal. It is very intense, but I love the power and absurdity of it. Number nine, Tanzanian Twister at the Kalahari Resort. This body slides a fast initial descent, followed by a climactic bowl sequence. Will you go feet first, or will you go head over heels? I always seem to enter the pool as awkwardly as possible, which makes the experience even better for me. Number 8, Scorpion's Tail at Noah's Ark. This trapdoor slide offers a nice freefall sensation on the main drop, and the surprise dip at the end is nice as well. The inclined loop can be a little rough on your back because you can slide up the unlubricated portion of it, but that's a minor nuisance for the thrills around it. Number 7, Stingray at Noah's Ark. This half pipe slide is a rush. The initial plunge is quite tall and steep for a water slide, and it's really zippy, especially if you're going backwards in that double tube. 
Then you get some faint weightlessness rocking back and forth. Number 6. Raja Noah's Ark. This snake theme slide looks awesome. The meat of the ride is similar to Stingray, but this drop is a pinch more airtime because you have more speed going into it. Up next would likely be Howling Tornado at Great Wolf Lodge, Wisconsin Dells. I have not been to this particular Great Wolf Lodge, so this placement assumes this Pro Slide Tornado rides identically to the ones at the Fitchburg and Concord locations. The steep plunge offers some weightlessness, and then the multicolored lights in the funnel create a party-like atmosphere. Number 5. Sahara Sidewinders at Kalahari Resort. This trapdoor slide is a steep and thrilling initial plunge, followed by a fast helix that pulls some decent G's. This is a very short slide, but it's speedy, smooth, and intense. Number 4. Zeus at Mount Olympus. This CCI is a simplistic layout. For years, this ride had a reputation as one of the roughest roller coasters out there. But the track work a few years ago made the ride very smooth. Zeus flies through the out and back layout, delivering weak floater airtime in most of the bunny hills. Then the minimally banked turns on the ends of the layout offer solid laterals as well. Number 3. Cyclops at Mount Olympus. I haven't ridden the CCI since it was retracted, but the ride had some powerful airtime moments in the back car. Everyone talks about the iconic final plunge that certainly gives great ejector airtime, but I thought the first two drops delivered equally as intense airtime. Most of this ride was smooth. Some of the turns were shaky, but they did offer some mild laterals, and that track work should help here. This is a short coaster, but it certainly packs a punch. Number 2. Hades 360 at Mount Olympus. This gravity group would have been the clear number one after my 2019 visit, but it was running significantly rougher in 2021. The train violently shuffled throughout most of the layout. The timberliners try their best to absorb the blows, but when you have a coaster this large and aggressive, the trains can only do so much. I struggle to ride this consecutively. However, I cannot deny how incredible the layout is. This is one of the longest wood coasters in the world and it starts off with a bang. You have one of the best pre-lift sections ever with multiple pops of airtime and laterals. You have two lengthy underground tunnels that are pitch black with some wild transitions and sudden airtime moments. And you also have a smooth inversion plus several other sizable drops that give great airtime in the back row. This ride is an endurance test, but if you can tolerate a rough ride, and I mean an exceedingly rough ride, you will love Hades 360. And coming in at number one is Black Anaconda at Noah's Ark. This water coaster really rose through my rankings in 2021. Every single drop pops you out of your seat, with the second and third drops delivering a surprisingly strong burst considering there are zero restraints. It's some of the best airtime you can get on any water slide. This is a long water coaster too. It uses my least favorite propulsion method on a water coaster with the conveyor belts, but the drops carry this slide. This is probably the attraction in town I want to marathon most, which is why I place it at number one. So those are my thoughts on the top 20 rides and attractions in the Wisconsin Dells. What are your favorite rides or slides in this tourist destination? Let me know what you think about any of the rides I mentioned, or any you think I missed down in the comments. If you enjoyed this countdown, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you considered subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.